Hello everyone and welcome back welcome again and in this video we are going to talk about one another interesting topic and that topic is nest js with the kafka okay i'm going to divide this whole thing into four simple videos to simplify everything first is a kafka introduction that talks about basics on the kafka not in depth second we are going to set up a simple mono repo but we are not going to use nx lana or pnpm workspace we are going to explore nest js workspaces interesting right third video will be talking about nest uh, kafka with the nest js microservices where we will explore the kafka transport mode in the nest js microservices so we'll create a one gateway and then there is a billing service and how they are communicating to each other uh, using this kafka transport then fourth video will be talking about nest js with the kafka js kafka js is a simple library that can help us to connect to Kafka. So we will be creating producer, consumer, and we will be creating a reusable, uh, you can say the Kafka module that can be plugged in anywhere. And you can just integrate with the Kafka in your application. So what is Kafka? According to Kafka's documentation, Kafka is described as an open source distributed event streaming platform used by thousands of the companies for high performance data pipeline. We can we can describe the Kafka in three words, distributed, event driven and streaming platform. First of all, it is distributed. So what is distributed means? Distributed means system is nothing but a group of two or more systems. It's like you uh, remember the database replications, right? Where you have a database cluster and more than one database has the copy of your tables. So even if one database node plus inside a cluster node goes down, you still have your whole system up and running, right? So this is how uh, this is distributed because not everything is on one system. It, there are multiple instances which are working together and making this Kafka as a cluster. So what is happening? I mean, why we need Kafka? Kafka is actually really very important tool for the event driven design. An event driven design is something like where you are creating events from one system that is called as a producer and there is another system which is consuming those kind of events. Let's say if you try to just communicate directly from source to target where source is totally decoupled with the target and source is fully aware of the target then if target goes down or source goes down your application completely goes down. There can be multiple source and multiple target and if you want to achieve the decoupled system for this event driven design where you are sending these kind of events events is nothing but okay mostly event contains some kind of a json schema which you can validate through json schema avro or maybe any other platform but for uh, kafka it's just a packet of information which kafka is just persisting in its partition and topics the next thing is what all features like what are important features uh, which Kafka is supporting. Kafka has become most popular choice for event driven design that is true. I mean it was uh, developed by LinkedIn and then later it was open sourced and enhanced for the bigger objective and that's what we see as a Kafka. So durability I mean uh, it it maintains the data because it is using clustering and all the partitions are copied into the multiple. Uh, cluster multiple broker nodes scalability it can grow very fast fault tolerant is an ability of system to continue operating without interruption when any particular component fails because it is using this clustering where you have multiple nodes even if one goes down you still have everything good availability of the percentage of time is like system remains available under a normal circumstances right so what is the, the overall use case of uh, Kafka? I mean, the major use case which I see is in the messaging system or when you want to process the stream or streaming the data pipeline between different sources. Messaging system is one of the use case and for our use case is the same. Messaging system is nothing but um, maybe extended version of event driven design where you are exchanging the events between different systems. Okay, so what are the components? I mean, uh, in this video, I'm not going to give an in-depth detail about Kafka. Maybe I will create a, some playlist in future where we talk about all these things in depth. Okay, 
तो काफ का है इज अ क्लस्टर आई मीन काफ का क्लस्टर एंड ब्रोकर अ क्लस्टर इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ सिस्टम्स दोज आर वर्किंग टुगेदर टू अचीव अ शेयर गोल एंड ईच सिस्टम इज इन सिस्टम इन क्लस्टर इज कॉल्ड सर्वर और नोड राइट एंड देन ईच सर्वर एंड नोड इज ऑल्सो फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू द टॉपिक्स एंड पार्टीशन इन काफ का ए टॉपिक तो वट इज दिस टॉपिक एंड पार्टीशन इन काफ का अ टॉपिक इज अ लॉजिकल ग्रुपिंग ऑफ इवेंट्स also called messages we can think of topic as a folder sys folder in the file system let's say this is a particular disk and inside that you have topic a is a folder topic b is a folder and each topic must be unique right and further topics has these partitions in which they are indexed with the, the data you are going to store then we have apache jupyter jukeeper jukeeper is a centralized service i mean why we when when i am going to dockerize the kafka there is also jukeeper container right so jukeeper is a centralized service for maintaining a configuration information so it's just maintaining the configuration metadata information provide a distributed synchronization and provide a group services right and then if you talk about the architecture this is the sim simple architecture which we have for kafka like you have a producer you have a consumer and these are the partitions uh, from the broker nodes like uh, for these are the partitions are arranged something like this and these partitions are it's not like the only one broker node has the same partition even if this particular broker node fails the same data and same partitions are replicated across different nodes so what what these partitions are like which you see here partitions are divided i mean topics are divided into partition okay partitions start from zero and continue to the increasing number in topic a single partition can be created or thousand of partition partitions can be created okay a uh, uh, once data is written into partition in a particular uh, fashion it is immutable okay and this is how the consumer and it's not like okay there is a consumer group or there are different consumer different consumer can be interested in different type of sets data set i mean if i am interested in the log topic i mean there is a log topic and i am keep some producer keep writing the data there then there can be a consumer which are specifically interested into the logging topics right then there are some producer who are producing the data in the like let's say messaging queues messaging topic that then there can be a consumer which is specifically interested in the messaging topic so consumer needs to decide which particular topic they need they are interested in listening so what is our use case in this whole thing kafka cannot be understood in just one video but here this is what we want to achieve let's say if the services are communicating directly and totally coupled same as right even if one goes down we will have a problem so we want to use this pubsub model and we want to create a decoupled uh, event driven architecture where the simple application some applications can start writing the messages to this particular messaging queue which is a pubsub architecture and some some are consumers which can read to the particular topics they are interested in so it's totally decoupled design this app 2 doesn't is not aware of what app 1 is doing app to just aware about okay i need to read from this particular topic they are not aware about f1 what f1 is producing similarly f4 f3 f5 all are part of the decoupled event driven design system so our objective is to have this kind of a decoupled architecture using nest js and kafka using nest js microservices and in another video we will also see nest js with a simple kafka js where you have a kafka app and running you will just use kafka js to talk and uh, to build a producer and consumer using kafka js uh, client okay let's get started guys